That is Jose Mora from Tijuana, Mexico. A fighter who sold over 300 tickets is making his way into the ring. Javier Padilla from Indio, California, went to Coachella High School. And that is still Mora on your screen. Uh, I guess there's no camera on Padilla. Well, Padilla, you, you see him wearing a Tejana. That Tejana actually belongs to his grandfather. There it is, Juan Padilla. His grandfather gave him that Tejana. I said, this is what I want you to wear when you make your pro debut. He did, got a KO, and he's gonna wear it every single fight in his professional career. And his grandfather is actually here in attendance watching his grandson. Joe Martinez, if he's ready to go. Are you ready, Joe? He is. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, four rounds this scheduled in the Super Bantamweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing green trunks, trimmed in red and white, he weighed officially 118 and one half pounds. He looks for victory number one tonight in this, his second professional bout. Hailing from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico, here is Jose Mo. And across the ring stands his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks trimmed in black with both the flag of Mexico and the USA. He weighed in officially 122 pounds even, and in one bout has a victory. That coming by way of knockout, he fights out of and represents his hometown of Indio, California. Here is Javier Padilla. And your referee in charge of the action is Wayne Hedgeman. All right, we good here. You got your instructions in the dressing room. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourself. Touch him up. Wayne Hedgeman, third man in the ring, is ready to go. We are underway in the white trunks is Javier Padilla. He's 21 years old. Trained by Tonio Diaz. Born and raised in the Coachella Valley. Coachella is two hours east of downtown Los Angeles. Yes, that is where they have the music festival every year. Also a good spot for amateur boxing. Had some good fighters coming out of the desert. You mentioned earlier, Timothy Bradley. Randy Caballero, former world champion. Just good quality fighters out here. And speaking of Caballeros, announced earlier this week he has re-signed with Golden Boy Promotions. Look for his return sometime in the spring of 2017, most likely at this venue, Beto. Padilla in the white trunks. Soccer player growing up. At the age of 12, walked into the Boys and Girls Club, the India Boys and Girls Club. Started boxing. He never left that gym. His dad actually took him because he was on his way to soccer practice and was getting beat up inside the gym the first time he sparred. Told his dad, no, that's not gonna happen again. I wanna go back in there and beat these kids. Said he got beat up for a while, <laughs> so he figured it out. And then he had a lot of amateur fights, did good for himself. And now here's the pro in the second pro fight in his backyard. Long rangey kid, huh? No, he is. And one note about Mora, who's zero and one, his pro debut, was on September 23rd. He's knocked out and won by Ruben Villa, highly regarded prospect that Artie Palulo and Thompson Boxing signed. Villa best known for beating Shakur Stevenson, silver medalist, a couple of times in the amateurs. Oh, that kid. It's mm. a beast from what I've heard, amateur-wise, of course. Yeah. In the green trunks is Jose Mora from Tijuana, Mexico. His dad was a fighter. His, his uncles were fighters. Borderline, you're borderline. He started taking it seriously at the age of 13. The shot landed. Good right. Good left. That Whoa. stuns Mora. Following up is Padilla. Mora is down here in the first. Two, that left got him three, quick. His legs four, buckled. Five, six. 
seven, eight. He's up with 35 seconds. He's backing up. Hedgefist is really keeping a close eye on him. His eyes are glazed. He's looking to the corner as Mora. Padilla's coming here. He's stalking with 25 seconds to go in the first round. Good right. Another good right. Body work from Padilla. Down goes Mora for the second time in the round. Looking to the corner is Mora. I don't know if he's going to get up from this one. Eight. He's trying. Nine, can you continue? Takes a deep breath. And the bell. Knocked down twice is more. A good round for Javier Padilla. Looking at the corner of Mora, the ringside position is peering in very closely. They've asked him a few questions. It looks like they are going to allow him to continue. But Beto, starting with that left hook, seemed to be out on his feet more. This is the punch right here that really changed the course of this whole round, perhaps this fight. In fact, here's that left hook coming up right there. And Beto, I think for a second or two, he might have been out on his feet. Javier Padilla didn't even ask for a stool. He stayed on his feet. The doctor's going to check out Jose Mora here. Especially with a young fighter, taking every precaution possible. Said yes, but Wayne Hedgeman, veteran referee, you know he's going to keep a tight eye on Jose Mora. Javier Padilla just became a father to Nevea Marie, November 6th. Here he is trying to get his second professional win. Body shot from Padilla. Right hand again. But if you're, if you're Wayne Hedgepeth, first hard shot that lands on Moore, I think you wave it off. Yep. I don't think there's really much point in letting a young man like this really take a sustained beating in there. And Wayne is right there. Body shot right from Padilla. Mora deflecting some of them. Whoa, big swing and a miss. Good right, strong right. Padilla is looking strong there. And down goes, and yeah, it is over. It off. Wayne didn't even count that. Yeah. He's like, no, it is over. Javier Padilla in his second professional fight. Another KO. Beto, I think uh, down, discretion down, is a better part of valor, especially for Wayne Hedgepeth. I think he did the right thing. It would have been academic. You could have given him the 10 count beyond. Uh, I don't think there's any use for this fight to go on any further. And the Tejana go back on. His grandfather, Juan Padilla, happy about that. Javier Padilla spars with Diego Deloya, Virgil Ortiz, Joseph Aguirre. So you know he's getting yeah. in some great work at the India Boys and Girls Club. That's your and right here, that right hand bouncing off the head of Sosa, excuse me, Mora fight dominated from the very onset by Javier Padilla and after that knockdown Wayne Hedgepath didn't even begin the mandatory eight count and Javier Padilla runs his record to two and zero scoring his second stoppage trained by Tonio Diaz who's known him since he was the kid walking into the gym Joe Martinez is ready to go you ready Joe yeah you are Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes to the official time of 44 seconds, round number two. We have your winner by KO victory. He is still undefeated in the Ozone, Javier Padilla. <laughs> 21 year old, new father. Only took a week off after his last fight to work with his daughter, be with his daughter. Right back to it. You gotta buy some diapers, you gotta buy some, <laughs> some formula. You gotta get some knockouts. And let's, that might be a fighter we see back here January yeah. 28th. Well, ladies and gentlemen, right now is a good time to get on up. Head on over to the park.
Three, three more fights here in India, but Saturday night, the forum in Inglewood. Go to goldenboypromotions.com, buy your tickets. Final one, 51-year-old Bernard Hopkins in his final fight will take on Joe Smith. Tickets still available, go and get them. You don't want to miss history as Bernard Hopkins calls it a career. Truly a throwback fighter. And you take a look at the breadth of this career, which began in 1988. Beto, he has a record of 55-7-2, 32 knockouts, then a 64 professional bout. Beto, looking at boxing now moving forward, I'm not so sure how many fighters we'll see that have that many fights moving forward. Guys don't fight as much, guys aren't as active, guys don't want to fight as long. Uh, I think Bernard Hopkins, in many, many ways, absolutely is a throwback. And the way in there, he got a little bit contentious. Is Bernard, he's been very loquacious. I don't know if you know, no. he likes to speak. Yeah. But the way in from Inglewood was a good one this afternoon. Hi, I'm Talia Rodriguez, and we're here at the Fabulous Forum in Inglewood, California, for Bernard Hopkins and Joe Smith's final one weigh-in. Let's go in and check out the action. Diaz 126 even, 126 for the champ. 125 and three quarter for Garcia. I had a tremendous training camp. I trained very hard. I had an eight week training camp. Uh, yes, it's uh, Bernard Hopkins' last fight. So I want to make it special for him and give to all the fight fans that are tuning in on HBO and the live at the forum an amazing fight. This co-main event is going to be an epic fight. I'm prepared to win. I came to win. And whether he's number three, two, or number one, we're going to beat him. Bernard, the executioner, Hopkins! Hopkins, 174 pounds. And he comes in 174 pounds, Joe Smith Jr. I'll be able to give a guy Joe Smith his final ass whooping. I am coming, but uh, I'm gonna put on a great show and this common man's gonna beat his ass. So there you have it. Those were some intense face-offs. You do not want to miss all of the great action tomorrow here at the Forum in Inglewood, California, December 17th. Don't forget to get your tickets. Final one at the Forum in Inglewood Saturday night. And tonight, we've already seen four fights in the books. Three of them were knockouts. Seven o'clock, check it out on HBO Latino. Get y'all hyped up in just about a couple minutes. Okay, 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 okay. 